Uh, hi guys, and it's a welcome from the uh, man cave. Um, bit bit wet, actually quite wet this morning. Uh, quite torrential rain. Um, bought one of these a few months back. Very useful. It's a stitching awl. Um, it's great for doing uh, heavy work. It takes quite a thick thread, and it's um, more or less designed for doing leather and heavy canvas work. But I was um, when I was making my little belt hanger thing the other day, I was using an upholstery needle and I was stitching it. Um, and I thought it must be a better way of stitching this on, you know. We uh, were redecorating the uh, bedroom and we had an old Singer sewing machine tucked away in the corner. The actual sewing machine had been seen its best days and was no longer a serviceable item but it had those and I looked at it and I thought ah so I've got a piece of rowan and I've got one of those and I'm going to make a small fine needle stitch in all for doing a slightly finer work I use a heavy duty cotton uh, it's quite good stuff I, I've had it for quite a number of years this piece of this ball of cotton Really, really good stuff for stitching, uh, for stitching work on rucksacks and um, climbing tape and what have you. So, in the next scene, I shall assemble this together. See you in the next scene, guys. Right, got a piece of rowan, got my needle, got my Dremel, and some glue. So basically, what I'm going to do is plug it in first alright hello I think my Dremel's died now no. Oh. That's going to be a quite a tight fit. I would sooner put a little bit of um, glue on the bottom just to make sure it beds in nicely. I'm doing this. Uh, I had a, a, um, a reply to one of my very early, my, an earlier video that I did. Um, if any of you guys are watching this and you go through my back catalogue, you'll see one of where I do some um, weekends kit in the uh, a weekends kit into a 45 litre rucksack, a bit of a challenge I think it was. Now I did get a, a reply this morning on it from a new subscriber saying whoops I need it. I'm going to have to redraw that I think a little bit more. Thinking, saying that he doesn't think that um, so he doesn't think not, he said, I think not, you know, uh, 45 litre, uh, 45 litre rucksack, he thinks not, you know, he doesn't think it's possible. It is feasible, I know it's feasible because I've done it. Um, 
most of the time we only go out for the weekend and so we don't need There we go, stitching all made. Just got to put it up the handle a bit, but it will work. Obviously you've got the eye at the end and you use it as you would use that other stitching all. Got to find myself a piece of cork now. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, the guy doesn't think it's possible to take to use a 45 litre sack on a one or two night or even three night trip out into the woods. It is possible. I know it's possible. I just scan around. I, I know this is possible um, because I've done it. And excuse me. And I've got the um, I've got the gear to prove it and I've done it. You know I've, I've gone out with a 45 litre ruck set. Okay it's right bare basics but you can live quite comfortably out in the woods with that. A lot of the time we end up doing the kitchen sink thing, you know, well we we might need this and we might need that. But basically all you need is something to sleep on, something to sleep in, something to sleep under. So sleeping mat, sleeping bag, bivy bag, um, kettle, or if you cut it down even but more basic than that, just a billy can. And food doesn't have to be that bulky. Um, change your clothes, a lamp and something to do while you're out there. It's not it's not rocket science and people over overcomplicate their things. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick demo of making up these little hammock things, these hammock storage areas. I've got a piece of um piece of cloth here. Um now, in a previous video, I showed a, uh, I showed how I showed a storage, a storage hammock, small hammock about this long. Um, it's it actually considerably wider. The actual material was about that wide. But I'm just demonstrating the uh, the way I sort of stitch it all together. So basically, I'll gather the end up, wrap it round a couple of times, <coughs> do. A, Tie it off with half a half an overhand knot. Fold it back on itself. Wrap around again about twice, and then you just tie it off. Like so. Do the same on the other end. Gather it up. You wrap it around a couple of times, put it tight, half an overhand knot, just to lock it in, fold it back on itself, cut the twist around again, and then overhand knot just to lock it off. There you go. There you go, it's sing up in your um, hammock. I've actually put that on the line in my hammock and uh, chuck my glasses and uh, reading lamp in that. Um hope they proved of interest. I'm gonna do I will be doing a lot more from the uh, man cave, little projects that I'm working on. Um it is uh It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I'll be doing some cooking demos at some point. Um, starting off in the kitchen, moving off out into the uh, backwoods. But for the time being, I'm going to have a little play with this. I'm quite pleased with it. It's now got a stitching all. Part of, the, part of my uh, sewing kit for the uh, backpack. Um, 
a very useful piece of kit and also the little hammock well guys um, the year moves on it's been quite a windy day and I hope that little chat about the 45 litre rucksack um, proved enlightening I might do a revisit on that and actually inst instead of just demonstrating it in the backyard which I did do in the video I actually I, I will pack it up I will take it out in the woods and I will have one day supply of food that will be an evening meal, a snack and a breakfast and we will sit down and enjoy ourselves. Um, I'll probably wait till early spring for that one because it's getting on to winter now and I pack slightly bigger gear during the winter. Courses are lined up for the next year. I'm going to have to give a couple of miss due to the uh, comp due to other people having time off and um, see you down the line guys.